Hello, it's the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 3rd of December 2022. Uh, December. I don't want to say where has the year gone because that's what old people say um, and I am old. So let's get straight into I have beer. Germany 13. It's a pity Germany and Belgium and Denmark, all European countries, all with great beers. Head out to the World Cup. Um, this is from Aldi, 4.5% alcohol by volume, a clanche. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it's a little bit thin. It's nice though. Um, I'm not going to criticise it at all. I like it. Anyway, as I usually say, if you haven't seen this before, this is me looking back on the past week and usually moaning about things. So, okay, word or phrase of the week. And this is from Miriam Webster. They have a word of the year. Gaslighting. Um, that's the effect where you make people double think about what they say and undermine their confidence. And are you sure that's right? Because you usually get things wrong. And no, you're wrong on that. And you had it wrong before and you're going to get it wrong. And that sort of thing. Hmm. Yeah, bottom line is, make up your own mind. Do your own research. Do good research. There's a lot of gaslighting around. Anyway. The apps of the week. Notice the S. Um, iPlayer and ITVX. It's the World Cup. <laughs> um, yeah, I was sitting in, I think it was the King's Fee, scratch his nose, last Sunday and the TV wasn't on, which was a bit of a shocker because it said underneath it, watch the World Cup with us. But I couldn't. Long story short, they'd lost a remote control. So they have fast internet there, streaming it on the iPad mini, which worked well. Um, so I'm into the apps. Uh, they're not as... They take a long time to get where you're going to. Um, just give me the football. Thank you very much. But they are good quality and... Um, I like them a lot, and uh, they are free. Although the BBC One one comes up saying, do you have a TV license? No, I have a TV license. So I put down yes. I'm not sure if you put down no. You don't have much of a choice in this country, though. I'm not going down that path. Um, oh, yeah. Quick Google. Had this from the Hereford Beer House. It's a cloud water glass. 440 mils. I like it a lot. I like the shape. Anyway, thing of the week, high pressure weather. I think from about Tuesday onwards, uh, misty, foggy, no wind. <sighs> Stable weather. Classic winter high pressure weather. Um, we're lucky it wasn't snowing because it would have stayed like that for ages. I think 2010, the whole of December was like, High pressure, snowy, horrible thingy weather. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so that's my thing of the week. And it's going on into next week. Although today, slightly warmer, slightly breezier. And because there's not a lot of moisture in the air, good drying weather. Well, good for the time of year anyway. The Rona of the week, China. China and Apple. Lots of things happening there. I saw this thing in the week in one of the papers, so take that with a pinch of salt, that 90% of people in the UK have probably, have probably had the Rona. I'm not altogether sure whether I've had the Rona or not, to be perfectly honest. And it's 10% in China. And there are issues. There's issues with airdrop, Apple. Um, yeah, feel sorry for them, really do. That's where it originated. Actually, that's where most of the flus originate, or especially in Southeast Asia. It's endemic now. We have to live with it. We have to get on with it. It's a thing. It really is. Okay, so let's look back on the last week. Um, Saturday, MB13. Yeah, that is going to be the last Mini Beano for 2022. Hereford. Yeah, 
Saturdays, Costa Coffee, Spoons, Hereford Beer House. Hereford Beer House, absolutely excellent. The Cult of Oak, really good. And Sean, Sean knows his beers, <laughs> and he knows Paul Markin when he sees it, um, but I did get it back a bit. Um, it was really, really good there. And another thing to show that Christmas was coming, email about the radio user's guide that's a sign of christmas a new radio user's guide smartphone user's guide and tv user's guide normally i get all three this year just the radio user's guide times are hard times are very hard and also on saturday bought some second class stamps because apparently second class stamps don't get treated any differently to first class stamps as regards sorting maybe an urban legend but times are hard 68p per stamp if you buy a big book like i did yeah uh, people aren't sending letters it's all parcels nowadays yeah i know that sounds a little bit political but it is yeah there you go anyway sunday was similar <laughs> <laughs> Sunday was very similar to be perfectly honest and Monday I returned and that's the trouble with a really good Beano if they're really good the time just flies and then you're back almost as soon as you leave I think I got a cold coming on a Monday Monday was washing and it just disappeared and football Tuesday well, on Tuesday, I learned that um, Detail, which is the app that I'm using to record this, um, was coming off setup and moving completely over to the uh, Mac App Store. And that the premium version would start charging in the new year. But if you're already there, you would have three months free. <laughs> ah, right. Yeah, definitely. Sniffy, sniffy, sniff, sniff. Um, so Wednesday came off setup. Which is a shame because they had a lot of good apps on there and they're Ukrainian and I like to support them. Um, but here could be the word of the week. The second word of the week, times are hard. Um, so, and installed it all, re-downloaded the App Store version, did a couple of things, permissions, and we're back and working. I like detail. Uh, from Amsterdam. Uh, there you go um tuesday was in newport um misty or foggy uh, depending on the time of day and frosty all day had a little look at the little tap house not tap room um open from 8 15 in the morning um beers from 11 o'clock uh, they have food there unfortunately they didn't have baguettes or sandwiches they had some really good beers they even had one on cask some good bottles as well. The Wi-Fi was fast but problematical. Uh, but the guy unplugged it about 14 times and plugged it back in. And then eventually it worked fine. Which is good. Um, I have a feeling I might revisit it. I was thinking about today. But uh, I just wanted to sleep in. <laughs> which I didn't, of course. Uh, right. I need to take more leave. <laughs> right. Tuesday. Apple's app of the year be real front and back cameras i have a feeling that be real has already come and gone uh it's quite overshadowed now it was the what uh, august june july august and now it's sort of disappeared uh, it uh, shone brightly and then just burnt up but what can you do also on tuesday heating on my thermostat which is a hive not recognized TLDR this is for next year when I turn it back on reboot the router a day before so everything gets a new lease and everything is connected and such like it's working fine now but it took a while talking of that my a boiler cover came up for renewal here's the tip um, it's British gas by the way <laughs> their call tree is horrible uh, if you just want to speak to someone because it did because it's expensive um, but in the past it's proved to be really worth it yeah um, just tell it nonsense and then get through to a real person I always query the amount I always ask them to bring it down uh, it was about 20 quid they brought it down but that's 20 quid back in my pocket so um, 
yeah haggle definitely haggle also on tuesday wales were out if you're welsh this is pretty common it really is uh, it is pretty common wales going out of things even the rugby nowadays uh, wednesday actually fully cancelled setup thursday morning well wednesday night into thursday morning christine mcvee passed on 1977 and rumors the perfect pop album really really good i know fleetwood mac aren't like the original fleetwood mac um which was peter green and it was more bluesy and whatever but um, buckingham nicks came in there they were the perfect pop band a druggy band to be perfectly honest but there you go um thursday was foggy friday less so today gray mm. and i was in spoons on friday lunchtime when the tvs weren't on so that's the guy because you know I like the TVs in Spoon, they're on, they have subtitles on, they don't get in the way of anything. And especially on a Wednesday when you get PMQs, and he told me, and I don't know if this is in every Spoons, no TV from 12 o'clock to save energy. The LCD screen, so I don't think they're going to use a lot of energy. Oh yeah, apart from the World Cup, they'll turn them back on for that. But that's a pity. It really is a pity. But here comes my word again, times are hard so this morning instead of be knowing uh, i wandered into costa coffee on the crossways industrial estate and won a free costa small hot drink which made me pleased and then over to tesco's and i bought well normally i just get a medium-sized crown but it takes ages and ages to eat and i end up throwing a bit of it away because it gets old i got a tiny crown a tiny turkey crown for Christmas. Less expensive, quicker to cook, times are hard. Christmas, times are hard. <laughs> I'm just burbling on incoherently uh, about the economy. Anyway, supposed to be colder next week. Um, so we shall see about heating and TVs and um, high pressure weather thank you for watching comments as per normal even if you write them in foreign languages which i don't understand uh thank you very much uh i'm going back to the beer now bye bye